After a rocky but overall wonderful day at the Park City Mountain Village side, we headed to Canyons the next day thinking we knew what to expect. The reality was different in multiple ways. Good morning guys! We are at the Canyon side of Park City today. We were pretty humbled by the double blocks at Park City yesterday, so uh, today we're going to try to do 99.90, but I don't know how that's going to go. Uh, we shall see. We're on Tombstone Express right now. We're gonna try to warm up a little bit before we get up there. Um, yeah, I will see you on the slopes. We settled for a brief warm up as we made our way to the Peak 5 lift. The groomers were a little icier today, but we made it without too much fuss. Riding up Peak 5, we thought the terrain below us looked decent. The snow looked fresh and fluffy, and even though there were some obstacles, it seemed doable. We're gonna do Mystic Primes. I think the challenge here will be the double fall line. Okay, I'm gonna go real slow here because of the, the cliff. Oh, this, yeah. Okay, that was the hardest part, I feel like. Admit to it. Oh, god damn it. You know, it's so hard when there's a double fall line to want to like turn the direction of the fall line horizontally because it feels like 
you're going to go a lot faster than normal with a single fall line. Mystic Pines was rougher than we expected, and at this point I was really hesitating about going up 9990, even though that was our big goal for the day. I realized that I really didn't know enough about the terrain up there and started to panic a little bit. If you are just looking at the map like I was, you will see that every single run off of 9990 is rated double black, and it feels like there is no way to bail out. This was a brand new mountain to me, and the condition so far has left a lot to be desired. But I was torn because I really wanted to check it out knowing that I might not have another chance for years. So I did a little bit of googling on the mountain and learned that parts of the area used to be a single black and the footage I saw seemed reasonable. Shout out to Lucas Catania for this footage from not long ago that finally sold me on it. While I was still a little nervous, we went ahead and got on the lift. Check out this very menacing sign. Oh, what did we get ourselves into? First time down 94 turns. Feels like a pretty narrow ridge. Oh yeah, not going that way. Okay. Why did I think this was a lot wider? Well, A little of this, a little bit of a feeling of a slight cliff on both sides, and it's still pretty thinly covered. Maybe it opens up a little bit more once we get over there. Okay, I feel like steepness wise is okay. It's just these like really tall, really irregularly shaped moguls that uh, that are pretty challenging, but I think. It widens up, so at least we'll get some choices in turns. Okay. all season. Wow.
are going to go to Talus Garden. Just trying to get as far away from the lift as possible because the stuff underneath it looks insane. These are just really big freaking moguls. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't know how you're doing it with the stick. Yeah. This is not definitely not as nice as 94 turns. done yet. Oh my gosh you guys i am so glad we decided to do 9990 because not only was it the best skiing all trip it was also the best skiing all season oh my gosh it was so good i could actually link turns for a little bit i didn't have any foot pain the views were amazing the snow quality was fantastic it was just a 10 out of 10 experience I could be who you want cause I know that I Just to mess up and tell the truth All I hear is an echo Turn the words up and say to ammo Sleeping on the side of the bed though Weeks of a let go Okay, I don't know what is what, but a face sounds easier than a gully So, we should do that A steep drop, whoa! <laughs> When you call my name, when you call my name, I go crazy. When you call my name, make me lose my game. When you call my name, I go crazy. I can't escape. When you call my name, when you call my name.
that's pretty steep. It's probably easier this way. some sort of trap over there. Do you guys know which way is easier? To right? Okay. Off and nice the nicest through that but I think I can ski through that holy crap this was a colossally bad idea not sure how to do this I think I'm just gonna have to step through it So right now I'm stuck here. It's steep, it's rocky, the shape is super irregular. I don't know how I'm gonna survive this, but let's see. Okay, I think, oh, just gonna very carefully step through one section at a time. Got my edges. It's gonna be okay. Ooh, fuck, 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 fuck. I am not okay. I have lost an edge. I've lost both edges. <laughs> okay, I think I think the worst part is over. I survived. I survived. That was really scary there. I felt like I lost both edges. I'm gonna move very slowly. Okay, okay, at least I'm up again. There's no way to turn. This is why I normally don't do runs that I have not been able to scout. It'll be better if I somehow get over there. Oh 
Okay. Oh. I can't believe I just went through all of that. And I'm not done yet. Get through these rocks over here. Oh. oh my god. Oh. That, was, that was the scariest thing I've ever done. Oh. Okay, okay. Take a breath. My hands are seriously shaking right now. I just did all, I just got through that. That was so scary. I feel like the video doesn't do justice how steep it was. Okay. Well, this is just normal, normal stuff. Reach further, forward, jump. I'm just like super psyched out now. Okay. Let's do it. Is it easier here? Actually, I think I think I'll stay here. Once again, I can't see. Okay, I'm just going to slide cuz I'm feeling a little flaked out from earlier. Okay, we're gonna make a turn. No excuses. Oh my god, that was the scariest moment of my life. Goodbye, crazy stuff. I was shaking for another half an hour after getting out of that. I have really never been more scared skiing. At one point, I thought the only way I could get down is to fall and see what happens. You can see it from the camera a bit, but I don't think it really did justice how tight and steep that section felt. My husband took a slightly easier line to the right of me, but it was pretty sketchy there too, and he also had to mostly slide down. And on the left of me, another skier was stuck for a while trying to navigate the tall weeds. While I was taking a breather at the bottom, I saw a couple boarders come down that same way on their butts, but I didn't see another skier come down, so I have no idea what it would look like if it was done right. Do I have any regrets? I guess I wish I had the good sense to step back up and take a different line. But by the time I realized I was in a lot of trouble, that wasn't an option anymore. I really thought that just slowly stepping down would work fine. I think the only way you could really do this other than stepping down would probably be to jump over the rocky bits, or maybe someone more skilled than me could actually make turns here without tripping over. However, both of those options felt beyond my skill level when faced with this many rocks on this steep and narrow path. If you guys have any thoughts on how to execute this, I would love to hear it down in the comments. Overall, it is hard to say that I regret everything about skiing down 9990 though, because I was able to do some of the best skiing all season before this happened. The top half of the area had virtually no obstacles. The snow was great and I had a lot of fun. Not so much on the groomers coming back down to the tombstone area though, where I thought I was going to die slipping on ice. Dashing through the snow, sliding everywhere. Ah! So at this point, I had decided that it would be best to call it a day. But before we tried to ski down, we had some food and I ordered a beer, which I almost never do. But I just really needed to take the edge off in the moment. Then the plan was to ski our way to the base area in as few steps as possible. I wanted to just get up Tombstone, then Saddleback, then ski all the way to the base. Looks straightforward enough, right? Despite my best efforts to get under the Orange Bubble Express and onto the Blue Echo Trail, we ended up on the wrong side of the ski area boundaries and ended up right where we started at the base of Tombstone. I don't know if I'm dumb or what, but getting out of here is like a freaking puzzle. Our only option was to catch over and out before skiing a tiny bit down to the base. 
and by that time, it was already 4 p.m. It's all right though, because we found some nice snow on Snaddleback that I enjoyed. This was a very different experience compared to Park City the day before, where it was really easy to catch home run that takes you all the way down. Canyons was a little bit hit or miss, but overall I had a fantastic day, especially with the great moments I had on 9990. I am definitely looking forward to coming back in the future, but preferably when the base is a little thicker. If you're still with me at this point, I really appreciate you. I was visiting home in Asia for the month of January and it was really busy. So these videos are taking me a while to properly edit and release. But I am back in Colorado now and things are hopefully back to normal. I did sneak in a few days of skiing at Niseko in Japan, which I am hoping to make at least one video about. If you have any questions about skiing in Japan, also let me know down in the comments and I will try to answer them in that video. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <music>